Hello, we are three readers from the Diocese of Leeds and we're here to talk to you a little bit about the threefold vision for reader ministry or licensed lay ministers as we are now being called. The three strands of this vision are thinking about the reader as teacher of the faith, as enabler of mission and as leader in church and society. As three readers we have been involved in the Diocesan Reader Review and that is why we're going to talk to you a little bit today about this vision. I'm going to start with Teacher of the Faith. So I'm now going to hand over to Mandy to say a little bit about that. Thanks Kay. So I'm Mandy Aspland. I'm a reader in the parish of Christ the King Meltham um, which is in the Huddersfield Episcopal area. I'm also the lay training officer for both Huddersfield and Wakefield Episcopal areas. So teaching is right at the centre of, of my ministry. Uh, and it has been really since I was at school. Um, I used to, I was always the child that other kids came to and asked for help with their homework. Um, I taught maths in a university um, after I graduated. Um, so I, I've always just loved that penny dropping moment when you take something that's really um, complicated or, or difficult to understand and by listening really carefully to the way that somebody else sees it you can just offer them the missing piece of information and suddenly everything changes for them the penny drops and they see things differently and that's true whether you're talking about mathematics or whether you're talking about faith um, the the idea that teachers of the faith is the top priority really for reader ministry, it just resonates with me. It just makes sense. Um, when I was discerning whether to um, go for ordination or whether to, to go down the reader ministry track, it just seemed to um, make perfect sense that I'm a born teacher and this is, this is what God was asking me to do. So um, when the, um, the Readers' Council published their document, um, Resourcing Sunday to Saturday Faith. Um, the description in there, I'd recommend it to anybody if you search for it, I'm sure you'll find it. The description in there about um, teaching and how, how teaching is central to reader ministry um, just is, is really lovely. It, it has all sorts of very simple metaphors. Um, it talks about how really readers are people who've experienced God's love for themselves. They um, love the story of God in the Bible and how God works for healing and flourishing for, for humankind um, all the way through it. And uh, reader ministry is about connecting our stories with that story. So for me, you have to be a good listener. You have to be able to listen to other people's stories and you have to be able to communicate God's story as it's depicted in scripture well enough for other people to make their connections with it. Um, so often it's not about presenting um, what people should think um, or, or what doctrine to believe. It's about telling a story and inviting people to, to connect their story to it. And that's how I see it. Um, so I'm going to hand over to Ian because I think Ian's going to talk about uh, enabling mission. Thanks, Randy. Uh, I'm Ian Grange, and um, I've been a reader for 29 years at uh, the parish of Christ the King, Battiford, which is next door to the Murfield Centre and the College and Community of the Resurrection. Uh, I've served in the same parish, and for the last four years, I've also been the area warden of readers for the Huddersfield Episcopal Area. Um, as being an enabler of mission, I think it, it's a very vague sort of phrase but it's what we're all about the mission of the church is to serve the people and what what Mandy's just said about you know it's not just teaching doctrine and preaching is a central part of my ministry but also there is pastoral aspects and for myself personally since I retired uh, seven years ago I've been one of the cooks at our weekly luncheon club sadly now not running like most things and I sometimes feel that providing lunch for 30 older people on a Tuesday I am doing more by way of mission to our community than standing up on a Sunday morning 
and letting people have a 10 minute snooze. I, I think another thing about it as a reader, um, with the diocesan vision that we have in Leeds now, the emphasis on clergy and lay together. And I think both readers and clergy are learning new ways of working together. I, I'm, I'm quite excited personally because I've, I've served for uh, the last 10 years with uh, Canon Maggie McLean, who left us to become Canon Missioner at York Minster last year. And we're awaiting the arrival of our, our new vicar sometime later this year. And I know from the conversation we've already had that we believe in Battiford that it's not just the vicar's job to enable mission to take place. Uh, Mandy's made the point about being competent to teach the faith, to share the faith, but it's by our actions as much as our words that we are seen as Christians. If we are doing good, we are doing good because Christ is in us and we are sharing that, that love that we believe to be central to our faith with people. And I think as a lay minister, you are not quite as set apart as someone with a dot collar. You do meet people who, like yourself, are lay, not ordained. And on occasions, you do have an opportunity to engage in a, in a different way, sometimes a more relaxed way. So I think, you know, it, mission and enabling mission is something to do with how we live our lives, how we engage with the society that we set in, not just the holy huddle that meets in church on a Sunday or a weekday evening. Um, I think the future with Reader Ministry, now licensed lay ministry, is going to be different because the church is going to be different. You know, the phrase at the moment is the new normal, but nobody knows just what it's going to be. But I think there's a very important part for lay people who are theologically educated and can communicate communicate the good news which is the story we have to tell and we have to share and if people feel called to do that i for one would say that the last nearly 30 years have been very rewarding in reader ministry and now i'm going to pass back to kay who is going to tell us about leaders in church and society and i'll mute myself again hi I'm, I've been licensed as a reader for five and a half years and in that time it has enabled me to work within my church which is Leeds Minster in this heart of the city but also in my job I've worked in a high school for uh, 28 years but for the last six years I've been chaplain and reader ministry has given me the skills that I need to have that role within school in terms of a leadership that has got a very different shape to the traditional leadership of heads and deputy heads. It is a leadership for the spiritual life of that community and part of reader ministry has allowed me to exercise that ministry with the theological training I needed. But I've also become very aware of the different opportunities that come up and how reader ministry has given me the skills and the confidence to be lay chair within my deanery, to lead a charity within our city, which is called Leeds Faith in Schools, and also to be part of Leeds Board and, the, and on Diocesan Synod. And all of these roles feed into the fact that as lay people, we have a very strong voice to be heard within our diocese. And we need to have the confidence to speak out and show the leadership so that that strand, as Ian has already alluded to, of clergy and lay together is a strong strand uh, a strand with God at the heart of it, that threefold idea that we find in scripture, that as readers or lay ministers, we have an important role within that. So I think to be people who are theologically trained and can speak into the issues in our workplaces, in our communities and in our churches, gives us a very valuable role and a role that God can work through us and in us as we exercise this ministry. These three th strands that we've been talking about uh, bring together something that is an exciting ministry for lay people to explore. 
and we would love more lay people to come forward and explore it. Part of the reader review has been to look at that training. So we now have an introduction to theology course as that first exploration of what it means to study. These are happening locally in your Episcopal areas. So it should be easy to get to and easy to find. Then the reader training is followed by a two year course, which happened at two centres at Murfield and at Bingley, uh, whichever one is the easiest for you to get to. And they are once a month, and allow you to meet up with other people and journey with them. One of the things that I know I found really valuable when I was training with the reader. And we explore together the scriptures, we explore ethics, we explore theology, all these different aspects of our ministries as they evolve. After that, we have the opportunity for continued professional development, taking seriously our commitment to study and to support our understanding of faith. So we really hope that you will consider getting involved in this exciting branch of ministry, um, whether you've been do, thinking of doing it for a few years or many years. It's something that really adds to the richness of our church when we have lay people who can explain and expand on the scriptures with confidence. There is lots more details on the diocesan website or on the digital learning platform. But get involved with this exciting journey and see where God is going to call you.